All right, so tonight, I, um, that looks like a really shitty paint job, but it's the zinc phosphate primer. Painted the rear section. I, I still have to clean that part, but that's not done yet. And I measured all the quadrants and I labeled it like, like that. That's CUL04, CUL03. This was CUL02, CUL01. All right. And um, so I've labeled all of them and I measured cardboard boxes, like cutouts. And so I can go home and actually cut out the foam pieces so I can cut it to size and then bring it back here. That was the game plan for tonight. So I labeled all of them CUR for central upper rear quadrant and this was central upper middle quadrant and that's CUM. All right, moving on to the insulation. Uh, when you order the insulation through Airtex Interiors, you get the entire insulation, the foam insulation that's required for the entire aircraft. I think these two are for where the seats go, I think. They're thin enough to be secured underneath the seats, I believe, when the carpet goes on top. I might be wrong. I'm going to call Airtex tomorrow to find out. And these are the cardboards that have the cutouts with all the dimensions on it. Okay, so I finished cutting up the insulation. I labeled the back of it with the initials required. And this is the extra piece I got from Airtex. This is all that was remaining. So they send you just enough for you to finish the entire aircraft. All right, so interior update. Just so you guys are aware, I finished painting the insides of the primer, put in the Airtex supplied interior insulation. And just so you know, the cardboard method did not work out because I think I used the flip side of the cardboard and everything mirrored the shape. So that was a little screw up, but live and learn. Um, so I had to make some excessive cutting for the insulation, but I got every nook and cranny covered. Now the next phase is to continue cleaning the the middle, lubricate all the parts, and move on with the the headliner, and then the rivets are gonna apply to the side uh, for the plastic J channel that's holding all the, the plastic interiors. After I do the interiors, secure the the mounts and. Secure the mount and proceed with the leather panels. I'm gonna do a dual jack, oh, I'm gonna do a rear uh, passenger jack. So I've already soldered the wires for that. And I'm gonna add a compartment, I mean a small square cutout in the rear passenger section for additional plugs on both sides. And I'm just gonna route the wire to the front and I'm gonna hang it loose and I'll let the technician you know, take over from there to see if they can decide the cables. Other than that, we are, we are good, I think. This is what's done so far. It's been kind of hard to work on it because the weekends is the only time I get to work on it and it's been raining the last couple of days. So hopefully this will look better by the end of this month.